Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team and I'm standing right in front of the magnificent 70 Indian Grove. We really are in a really super exclusive little pocket south of Bloor. This is actually a really interesting driveway there. It's actually a laneway just shared between two properties so you get the full width of the property as the house and you can see how magnificent it is. Just the curb appeal alone. Beautiful bow window there, see? And the cement and uh, stone porch and the beautiful little extras, even the stone corners. It's magnificent, it really is. And even these staircase, it's awesome. Anyway, here we are. You get this magnificent, beautiful view. See the trees. You know, all the homes around here are spectacular. This was built 88 years ago. And you can tell from all the gumwood trim and neat and natural exposed wood and ornate little details like that and the beveled uh, glass front door if you can see that and the uh, uh, wainscoting the gumwood beautiful gorgeous so here we are entering the owner suite this is the same owner for the last 34 years they've maintained it and uh, updated it over the years and just kept it in beautiful condition see the old I don't know if you can see these uh, light fixtures. There's lots of charm and character. So a nice front hall closet there. That's a mirrored closet. There's the hot water rads. And here you go. It's really deep. See how much storage there is? It's really amazing. And these floors are just gorgeous. So as you walk in, you get the living room, uh, dining room on your left, and then to the right is the uh, bedroom wing. So I'll show you the principal rooms first. And if you wanted to convert this back into a single family house, you could because of that sort of grand staircase at the front there. This could be your living room and then above this would be your master if you wanted to convert it back uh, or into. This is, as I say, an original duplex. It's got that back staircase and identical suites. Now this exposed wood is just amazing. All the windows have storms on them so they're in good condition. Gumwood trim everywhere. This is like a little jut in with the leaded glass windows and you can see it's even got its own little lighting there it's pretty cool uh, crown molding lovely gorgeous it could fit all kinds of furniture I mean that living room is monstrous in this dining room we could have any kind of sideboard and any kind of entertaining you know family friends you could have numerous people over each level is 1600 square feet of course and this is the what I call the sort of family room or sunroom it's uh, really, really pretty actually when you look at it from the outside and of course it's got this western sun and it gets lots of natural light and these guys use it as a home office. It's got a cute little, uh, little deck off it so you get the natural light. You can come out for a little break. You could use it as a TV room. Of course the neighbors houses are lovely all around it and there's mature trees so you get uh, just a really nice feel and a little step up there, now we go step down. So here we are entering the galley kitchen, which has its own charm and character. It's got its own uh, window, and it actually works really, really well. Functions highly. And here we are in the back, sort of the second half of the 1600 square feet where you get the bedroom wing. So they use the one of the rooms as a huge den. This could be, of course, a bedroom. Um, and it's really spacious. Look at all this furniture in here. It's amazing. It's like huge. And lots of closet space. This is a little hidden closet there. So it goes all the way deep down and around. And the family bath has been updated. They actually snuck out the... On this level they took out the closet and they put in a separate tiled shower. Separate from the soaker tub. And it's a nice family sized bathroom. And again, lots of nice original trim. That's that air conditioning unit. These beautiful, you know, original uh, drawers and that sort of thing. Look at these doors, I'm telling you, it's amazing here. Gorgeous. This is like a whole wall of closet space. And again, drawers below. And so here's one of the other bedrooms. And it faces the back, so it's nice and quiet. And lots of space. Easily king size furniture here. And I'll just do 
a little walk out. So this is as you walk out. The upstairs has the same sort of cute little storage. I just love all the nooks and crannies and all the character. So this is the walkout. Again, the back staircase, each unit gets it. And that's that deck we had a little look at. And here we are in the backyard. So I'll do a little walk around for you. But don't make you seasick. This is theirs to the front of the house. And you can see how beautifully maintained it is. It's in top notch shape. So this is the brick garage. That's one of the windows in the garage. The garage has heat and hydro. It's got its own hot water uh, rad in there. If you're a gardener, you would love this. It's west facing. A bunch of the neighbors actually have pools along here. This is a 44 by 154 foot lot and it spans the whole width of the property and it's just, it's incredible. Look at that. Woo! See these beautiful mature trees? It's actually High Park a block away. We're we're really close to the subway here, Kiel subway station. You could actually walk to Dundas as well. So it's all fenced in. I'll give you a nice view from this end. There you go, look at that pretty house. Um, so it's just a quiet little street, surprisingly quiet, uh, yet so close to, you know, High Park, the actual High Park, um, you know, Howard Park Tennis Club, all the amenities, all that. And uh, in the winter, I think it's absolutely beautiful back here too. And I'll just do a little peek through here. Can you see there's inside the garage? It's actually got, uh, it's a double garage. That's a partition that was put up. There's a nice um, beam to solidify it. And these are actually quite cute little doors here. So, and this is again, that sort of laneway, which is a total bonus, man. You don't actually pay taxes on it, but it's really super wide and you could have any kind of, you know, machinery come and do landscaping. You could get any kind of size truck. This is no mutual drive here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little tour and you come and take a look. It's worth it. As they say, location, 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 but this is a pretty special house.